Hi, and welcome to part three. Yes, this video is starting in my bathroom. I want to show you guys what I've done so far. So we've got all the pearls here cleaned up. They're actually looking pretty good. Even like all these little stretchies, super sparkly and fun. So this is part three of uh, an 11 pound craft lot. And um, some things I've already pulled out in my first two videos and cleaned up a little bit. Sometimes they, you know, turn out pretty nice. Can't forget about the bow. So fun. Woohoo! I mean, even those awful disco balls, look at them. They sparkled right up. Even this thing. So in the first two parts, we went through a ton of jewelry and we got all kinds of fun stuff. There are the panel bracelets, the metal, the metal panels, super fun, super cute. The metal stretchies, metal bangles, cuffs and, uh, or sorry, clampers. And nice little wearable piece, big awesome chunky beads, random beads, crafty beads, and then different little components, some gold single earrings and brooches, some blingy silvery stuff, and we have all this to go still. So thanks for tuning in. I am so happy you could join me as I continue to unbox this awesome 11 pound crop lot. It's been so much fun. So far, pretty happy with overall with, um, there's a lot of wearable stuff in here. Oops, let's zoom back in. See these beautiful enamel earrings. Neat. Ah, yeah, lots of fun wearable stuff. Lots of components that I can certainly use. I'm very, yeah, very happy. Um, this is Becca's Boutique and Beadworks BC. I am located in British Columbia, Canada. It's an awesome little single earring. I am an online reseller and uh, like little, what would you call it? home crafty person. I don't like to use the word artisan because uh, I'm not fancy like that. You me? No, I'm talking uh, talking about my jewelry in the videos. I thought you paused it. No, I, well I unpaused it because you were busy. Um, this is talking to the baby. <laughs> this is for a scarf. It's a pretty uh, heart like your like your scarf goes through that pretty heart uh, charm and ooh we have a brand new fancy little anklet on a stretch look at that rhinestones rhinestone anklet on gold that's hilarious anyway so as I was saying to um, the viewers of the YouTube what would you call like what what I am what I do what would you what word would you use? Mr. Man. Hello. Um. <laughs> yeah, right? Um. There's more than one. Oh, geez. Well. Oh, yeah, sweet. I mean, as in terms of. In terms of, like, this. The. Reselling hobbyist. You know, 
Well, I can't, I can't explain it for you. You're supposed to be the one coming up with the words. I love shelves for my, um, for my mermaid pictures. Ooh, look at this one. Hmm? Waiting. Oh, poor baby. Okay. <laughs> well, that was hilarious. Wouldn't be a jewelry video without some uh, background noise of poop talk. <laughs> Um, yeah, so he just came in to change the baby's diaper, and she's been changed and fed. And um, he was trying to say some funny commentary there, but uh, he missed the punchline. Anyway, I pulled out this thing, which is so bright and colorful and beautiful and springy and fun, and I love every part of it. Hi! Look at it. It's got pink and green glass beads. It is fabulous, and it's intact, and it's long, and it even has a lobster, even though it's super long. How awesome is this? I don't keep looking at it, but like, it's so awesome. All right, let's, let's let it live there. Ooh, look at that. What are you? Hmm. Ah, I see a statement necklace. Free yourself. Oh, I love the cool colors. Oh my gosh, I love this. Ooh, a screw back. Rhinestones. Yeah, it's pretty. Look at this. It's a clamper with baguettes. My favorite. My favorite. Wow. Hmm. Is it missing one? No. Ooh, I like that a lot. Let me fix this a bit. Cool. Release. Release the statement necklace. Release. Oh. <laughs> As you could see before, I'm doing this on my bed, so it's like weird angles, but um, it's handy when you have a sleeping baby beside you because you can just kind of pause and reach over and rock or plug or feed nurse or yeah um, this is pretty cool I love this like open work kind of filigree with some little peridot color rhinestones I mean the chain's kind of worn but that's neat she's very cute she's sleeping beside me now cute little baby ooh hello it's a beautiful black eye love it. Ooh, there's the match. My desk, my workstation is currently covered in spidering as if you, if you watch the first two videos of all the recent spider creations that I've done. It's a duck. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit busy over there anyway. Oh, hi, baby! Ah, uh, this is kind of cool. It's got a little butterfly in it. And, uh, hello, baby. All topped up again. A million interruptions. And he's, he's back in the room. Did you want to... Did you come up with the, with the, uh... You are a master beater. <laughs> a master beater? Oh, my mom's more than master beater. But, okay, master... You're a beater apprentice. <laughs> a beater. 
A master beater, that's kind of funny. A creator. A, I don't like the word artisan. Like, I just feel like that's like, um, I mean, I like the word artisan, I don't like it for me. Like, I feel like that's a bit, that's a bit in, overindulgent, you know? So that's why I was asking. Anyway, he calls me the master beater. Or, you know, creator of things. What was the other thing he said? Uh, oh, baby maker. I'm like, that doesn't apply here. <laughs> let's, not, let's not say that. It doesn't apply to the jewelry reselling or the um, creation of the spiders. Okay, okay. Let's focus here. Back to the task at hand. Look at these freaking awesome pendants. I love these colors so much. I'm not really a blue person, but then like look at the deep, 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 beautiful navy blue here. And like the taupe colors. Love this. I think I did see this in a video. <gasps> yeah, and then like the chain's kind of yucky, so I guess it makes sense why it's in here, but like, hi, three pendants, thank you. Love it, love it. And I was looking at this thing which is all kinds of messed up, but I love it. Oh, these AB crystal or AB coated rhinestones. Yes, speaking to me. So many fun things I can do. Oh my gosh, I've paused this video like 20 times. <laughs> oh, I lose my train of thought and constantly interrupted by children or man. It's crazy. I don't, uh, I wonder how bad it's going to be when I watch it back. <laughs> um, this is adorable. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, I bet my mom would like this. Oh, it's so pretty. We just have to replace a little stone there. Oh, I love the colors and it's so pretty for spring. Chain's not too bad. NWT. So what is that? Is that Avon? And this guy again. I love this. Absolutely beautiful. So cool. Yay! I love it. Yay! This looks like it could be like brick brickwork or like a... Oh, what does that say? Um, like a border or something in one of my pictures. You never know. We're almost at the end, my friends. Another one of these beautiful earrings. I see something pink. Super fun. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, what's this? It needs a little bath. Maybe a soak. Hi. What you doing? What you doing? Got a little... Got a little squirmy baby. Are you awake? Are you awake? Do you want to play with the jewelry? I bet you do. Gasp. I am in love with this box of goodies. Cool. Mm -hmm. Neat. This is like Mila, Mila, oh, wow, Mila Fiore. I don't know, it's, or it's art glass, I guess. It's an art glass bead. Um, it's an earring, like a broken earring. That's super cool. Wow. I love these things. Oh, I'm so inspired. It's like overwhelming and inspiring at the same time because I can do so many things. Oh, shut up. <gasps> Yay! 
Oh my gosh. I can't believe this is in here. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, please fit. I can always extend it. Oh, it's just a little bit too small. I'm gonna have to extend it. Yeah. But I've got her on. I've got it. I got it. I got it on. Isn't that a fabulous? Look at that. It's freaking gorgeous. That's gorgeous. That's stunning. Wow. Very, very nice. Ooh, a little sparkly shorty bugles. Ooh, he looks like a little. It's like take the beads apart or put it in the picture because it's like a little squid. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Look what I found. These are like these multi pattern earrings. I've seen these before. And a little panel, stretch bracelet, metal components. Oh, we are almost at the end. Oh, that's cool. Oh, would be nice if it was. <laughs> would be nice if it was in the shot. Um, can you tell I'm getting tired? How do these people do 17 pounds or 15 pounds or? This is 11 pounds, which is amazing, and I've been, I'm trying so hard, even though it's in multiple parts, to get it done in one day. And, of course, it's literally all day. Um, all the naps and breaks, and yet I'm still, uh, you know, momming every two and a half minutes here. <laughs> Um, this is wonderful. So cute. A little sunflower clip-on earring. So pretty. So pretty. So many awesome things in here for me to play with. Ooh, there's the match to that one. I, it's so much work, but it's so fun. It is such a joy to go through all of this stuff and get so much inspiration and treasure hunting. Who doesn't love the treasure hunting? I mean, yeah, there was a couple little bonus things in my last video that maybe you don't want to find when you're treasure hunting, but you know, I don't mind. It's not. Uh, it's n not a big deal. That's just um, you know, these these come from these giant. Like it's put together out of these giant lots of, you know, 15, 17, whatever pounds, coming from all over the place. These Goodwill shops in the states that. Um, you know, us Canadians can't directly order, so why not have our American friends or um, resellers go through them for us and support their reselling business? Oh, cool! There's a match to this. I have the other one. I like it. It reminds me of a of a shell or some sort of um, like conch or yeah. It's like nautical in my mind. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a vintage screw back. Yeah, so anyway, I would love to order one of those ginormous boxes. I'm sure it would be, you know, um, not, uh, not as expensive to buy, but, um, the shipping, I don't think it's available to Canadians. The shipping would probably be crazy. And it's just, why not support another reseller? So that's what I did here. I uh, reached out to one of my favorite gals. Love her videos, they're so informative. 
Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, I keep putting things out of frame because I like get, I'm like a magpie with the sparkly things. I'm like, ooh, sparkly, and I'm looking at it and it's out of frame. Sorry about that. Anyway, one of my favorite gals there. Um, she's so, oh baby. She's so informative. Aw, thank you. You gonna rock that baby to sleep? What? Yeah. Yes, I'm recording. You have a you have a query? Looks like any buzzer. Um ooh, we got another pair of these. Yes, darling. My love, what is your query? So if your mom is bead Yoda, what does that make you? Oh god. Um uh, Luke Skywalker? I don't know. Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> what does she say? Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Is that what she says? Help me. Oh, such a dork. I love it. I have a match to these fabulous vintage earrings. What are these? <laughs> Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Oh. Um, you're hilarious. Yes, yes, we got a new um, Wi-Fi password. Do you require it right now, my love? No, that was just... Okay. I noticed that I wasn't on the Wi Fi and I went to log on and it wasn't there. And it was like, oh. Yeah, so we got a new modem. So hopefully it won't take forever for my video to, to upload. Yay, that would be cool. <laughs> new modem today. Um, yeah, give me like um, five, ten more minutes and uh, just play with the rest of this jewelry jar and then I will give you the password. Thanks, babe. Look at this. <gasps> so fabulous. Oh, it's quite heavy, isn't it? <gasps> oh my gosh. Well, how entertaining for you to listen to um, the sidebar commentaries. <laughs> oh, wow. What are, how are we liking this? I'm liking these. I love this green color. Uh, I have the match to these. We are almost... Oh, look at that. Ooh, is that a bee? <gasps> is it a bee? Or is it just a swirly thing? Is that a D? Oh, gosh. How many times have I... When I watch this back... Oh, I'm going to be like... Eh, probably shouldn't even upload it. So many things out of screen. <laughs> But, um, you know, time is a ticking, and I don't have time to re-record these things, you know? Um, DBL? Maybe? Maybe, maybe? This little vintage clip-ons. Oh, yeah. A couple of these. Are these, like, Bakelite or Lucite? How do you tell? Oh, by the way... I'm pretty new at all this like reselling jazz, just like a little hobbyist. And if you spot something that you want to learn me up and tell me what it is, feel free. Feel free to share your information. We are here to learn. And I love learning. I'm a little sponge. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying I think when I paused the video is that I love watching Miss Dragonfly Bees because um, she teaches me a lot. Not that I retain it. I mean, she could probably repeat the things like 20 times before I would actually retain it because I got a lot of stuff in my brain, you know. You know how it goes with the mom brain. Ooh, hello, faux turquoise. I love this. Yay! Pretty colors. 
Sorry to be making just like a pile, but um, I gotta kind of be quick with it. <gasps> Shut up, we have a match. Oh, these are so pretty. Can't wait to use these. Can't wait to use these in a picture. Ooh. Do, do, do. We're at the end. Is it a giant eye? Is it a wing? I saw the match to this. Oh, these tulip screwbacks are amazing. <gasps> I love them. These are so pretty. Oh yeah, I see, because it's kind of like missing a piece. Ah, they're broken. No problemo. I will use them. And sparkle, sparkle wing, raindrop, teardrop. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it's flashing low battery on my phone. It's like, what? That's very cool. Ooh, that's a neat shape. See, you get the most obscure things. Oh, I was gonna show you guys something. In the first video, ooh, got a match to these. Oh, and they cleaned up really nice. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna show you the other one. So, I got this one. Look at it, it's like black. Got the other one, gave her a little bath. Eh? And we got that. Green coming through. It's still like a dark sort of brassy color. But yeah, quite a difference. Cool. Um, okay, so in the first video where there was like a whole bunch of little bits and pieces, there was a whole bunch of these. And it's like, oh, what's with all the little broken pieces? But, and, I'm assuming some people think, oh yeah, just whatever. You have all these, what is this? Just chuck it. Um, no. We got a bunch of them. Where are they living? In here, in this little collector bag. And um, how awesome is this? I'm going to send them to my mom for her jewelry tags. Hello. Instead of buying the jewelry tag, she can use these and she can write XT on it because my mom creates fabulous jewelry, AKA this wonderful dragonfly necklace. And she can, I want her to start putting jewelry tags on her stuff. Yeah. So, I always try to see the potential in every little thing even though it may seem like it's not a usable piece anymore. Um, you know, within reason, the string obviously is going, ear wire is debatable, questionable. Yeah, but you try to reduce, reuse, repurpose everything and even down to the last little details. That's what I do anyway, uh, that's, part of the joy and amusement I get out of this reselling journey and um, I thank you for coming along with me thank you for sticking through this video and um, liking it and subscribing if you're a subscriber thank you for coming back thank you for um, yeah your support and please pop over to 
the Facebook page and follow that one if you haven't already and you'll get notified when we do the auctions. We're gonna do one this Sunday. <gasps> Ooh, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Again, yeah, Becca's Beadworks on Facebook and all that info is in the description below. Thank you. This will conclude the three parts. This will conclude my 11 pound amazing craft lot that I got. And thank you for being here. Thank you to Susie for putting it together for me. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.